Hi guys. Well, unbelievably, we have gotten to out of nowhere a spectacularly gorgeous fall day here in the end times in paradise. your old Airbnb super host heading to uh, Walmart or something getting ready for the uh, the influx of uh, let me wash this windshield little dog the influx of Airbnbers to bugs in a jar farm uh, this week and then of course back to Home Depot Home Depot for some more bags of concrete. I want to thank Brother Alistair for being so kind as to offer to come up and uh, help me do that. But anyway, it is now a gorgeous for at least the next five minutes. Uh, well, next five seconds apparently. Uh, Thursday, October 7, 2021. So, okay, guys. So, uh, one of the things that I am shopping for, probably not today, but over the next month, I have one month to, uh, God damn, I can't believe I'm saying this, it has finally happened. I'm, I'm getting ready to join the selfie smartphone generation. Now I do have this damn thing I've had for years, but, uh, all I do on that phone is make phone calls for to real estate agents. So uh, I am finally getting ready to join the smartphone generation of clueless fucking morons. Uh, you know, the last time uh, I did this, you know, when my sister sent me that smartphone in St. Croix and I bashed it against the rock. But anyway, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm finally have my hand forced that, uh, you know, I'm going to be traveling around. I have no fucking clue, no fucking clue uh, where I'm heading for six months, where I am going to be living for six months, who I'm going to be living with, I'm sure, myself and my little dog. Uh, I have no fucking clue when I pull out of here probably on November 15th no clue where I'm heading or what the fuck I'm doing with my life so anyway what I need and this is what I need your advice on I, I'm looking for uh, I'm looking for pro and con advice uh, mainly warnings uh, before I just dive into a, uh, a, you know, to a cesspool of smartphone uh, salesmen. So here is the, the the two main features I need. All right, is I need a phone with a that I can make a hotspot that I can make an internet hotspot out of so on one side of the coin you know I it's going to be a lot more common where I am going to be living in places that have cell phone coverage but do not have internet uh, my guess is this is going to be much more common so uh, what I need is the cheapest smartphone that I can uh, go on there and make an internet hotspot for my laptop so you know I can be uploading videos and whatnot so that is the number one part of it uh, it's so anybody who has a fairly cheap phone that uh, even a Luddite like me can make uh, an internet hotspot out of their cell phone. Uh, let me know what brand you have and the pros and cons. And okay, so, and as I just discovered a couple of weeks ago, there is the flip side to an internet hotspot, 
and that is for those rare instances when I wind up at a place exactly like Bugs in a Jar Farm. So at Bugs in a Jar Farm, we have uh, excellent internet, but we have no cell phone coverage. So uh, in, in, in these very rare events, what people do when they come to visit with their smartphones, there's some sort of feature on their smartphone. Not everybody has this, but I would say half of the people seem to have a feature on their on their smartphone that is called something like Wi-Fi voice. I've heard it called Wi-Fi voice. I'm sure different phone companies. But what it is the opposite of a hotspot. What it means is if you if you find your play yourself in a place with no cell phone coverage but you can find Wi-Fi then you turn on whatever this feature this Wi-Fi voice or whatever and you put in the Wi-Fi password for where you are and that gives you cell phone service so as I say it's kind of like the opposite uh, of a hotspot but the end result is both uh, that whether you're activating your uh, your hotspot or your Wi-Fi voice, you have both cell phone coverage and internet coverage, uh, and this is what I am aiming for. And uh, now the third part of the equation, obviously is which carrier to use and uh, there, there's no way of knowing uh, where I'm going to be going so I'm sure that wherever I am there is always one carrier that's going to be stronger like I met these guys at a hip camp last year they travel all around the country this married couple all around the country and what they do is they they say it's just a cost of doing business is they they each have three smartphones okay each one of them so they have a total of six smartphones you know so each pair of smartphones are connected to a different carrier and their advice to me the only thing you can do is get to the hip camp or wherever you're going turn on all three of your smartphones and see which one has the strongest coverage and go with that. That is the only way you can cover your ass. Obviously, guys, uh, I am not so pathetic that I'm going to go out there and do that. I am going to pick one service and uh, I just, uh, of course, Every fucking service, you, I, I am sure that all of them, Verizon and Sprint and AT&T, are those still the big three, Verizon, Sprint and AT&T? They're all going to tell me they have the best coverage for out-of-the-way areas. Obviously, uh, it's not that big a concern in cities, but I'm going to be out there in the fucking boonies. And so I'm looking for people who are generally satisfied uh, with uh, you know their coverage when they find themselves out in the boonies. Okay, so I need good coverage, I need a Wi-Fi hotspot, and I need a, you know to make a cell phone out of an internet Wi-Fi where I am. So anyway guys, as much as uh, I'm sure you guys are laughing about hearing the old Luddite heading into the smartphone generation, it has finally happened as uh, depressed as this makes me. So, uh, oh well, let me know. I do appreciate it. What would I do without, uh, what would this old Luddite do without my tribe? 
and I will not hold this against you. I, I promise. Okay, anybody who sends me their advice, all right, I'm making you a promise that if you are raving about your smartphone, you convince me to get your setup and I end up having a horrible experience with it, I will not come back and whine. I, I, I promise. I really won't. You have my promise. I really uh, would appreciate anyone's input on this. Ready, set, go. Bye, guys.